Hi everybody. This is Delia Colvin with Flyright Aviation Education. We're going to talk about my top tips on 1-800-WeatherBrief.com, one of my favorite sites for self-briefing. This is 1-800-WeatherBrief.com right here. Over here on the left-hand side, it has featured capabilities. These are absolutely awesome features that you got to check out. Uh, one of my favorites is that they've got this easy activate and easy close. They just did an update on it, but you can text to activate and text to close your VFR flight plans. Now, for those of you that don't file VFR flight plans when you're flying VFR, I highly recommend it. What we know is that people that file and uh, activate VFR flight plans actually tend to land safely. It's just kind of this, you know, some Murphy's Law kind of thing. They also have flight plan close reminders. Now for any of this, you can go in here, you can click more. Uh, they also have surveillance enhanced search and rescue. This is like ADSB out. However, it's attached to your VFR flight plan. So if you were to fly VFR to uh, an airport and it, you had a destination, let's say that was four hours away and an hour into your flight, you had a problem. Well, if you file a VFR flight plan, uh, they're not going to start looking for you until you're late arriving at your destination. But if you went down, you need somebody there right then. So that's what surveillance enhanced search and rescue is. You have to buy some equipment to do that. It's not very much money, but it's a great safety feature. They also have flight plan aids. Uh, which you can come in and take a look at this anytime you'd like. Uh, In-flight PIREP submission. This is just such a great enhancement for us. Um, before you had to call flight service, you had to go through the format and, and you didn't always, it wasn't always easy to reach them. Now you can uh, enter them electronically and adverse conditions alerting service, um, which monitors flight plans after briefing and filing and, and sends you changes in it. But my favorite feature is NextGen. NextGen briefings. Uh, this is something that 1-800-WeatherBrief.com came up with. And what it does, the most difficult thing that a briefer has to do or a pilot that's self-briefing is we end up with information overload too much information coming at us. And, and we can't always sort through all of that very quickly. Now, I believe it's a safety issue to be able to go through a briefing very quickly. As a matter of fact, you'll hear me talk about this, that you should be able to go through a briefing in about 10 to 15 minutes uh, if you know what you're looking for and, and really have conducted a safe briefing. Uh, now that does depend on you knowing the parts of the weather brief. It also does depend on you understanding a little bit about weather. Uh, we cover all of that in our, uh, in our webinars, which I hope you'll join us for. However, what this is going to do is it's going to narrow this down. And this is 1-800-WeatherBrief.com. This is what it does when you've got the next-gen briefing. So here you've got next-gen view and you'll notice it's got Adverse conditions synopsis, current weather forecast, and no temps. That is your standard weather brief. Below it, it has another drop down menu for each item on here. And the main thing that I wanted to show you is that with the next gen briefing, what it's going to do is a couple of little things that are going to be just awesome. First off, it's going to let you know if an adverse condition is actually going to affect you during your flight or whether it's forecast. Uh, the other thing that it does that is just fantastic is it's going to highlight your passing time on your TAFs. See how it's highlighted this and it's saying 32 minutes ahead of that time. You've got different weather, but at your passing time of 0642, this is the weather that you're looking at. Uh, they've also got it over here in uh in the graphics. So it's just a great feature. It's some of my, it, it is my most favorite feature of 1-800-WeatherBrief.com as well as having the format for a standard weather briefing there. If you like this video, select the subscribe button. You can also leave any comments below, like it, share it if you'd like. Also, I hope you'll join us for our weekly webinars that we do for free, where we go through an entire standard weather brief and you'll get the education that you need to fly safely. We'll see you later.